Um, I, I don't, I don't find very many videos of people like giving incels advice, and it's very weird to me. Ooh, ooh. Who bloody hell is texting me right now? I just find it very um interesting that there's been an influx of videos on incels lately. Uh, people more or less talking about how shitty they are as just you know people more than anyone trying to solve a problem and I've noticed now I've dedicated my channel to trying to solve problems and analyze issues and trying to fix them so if you watch a video from me notice you'll notice it's usually what I'm trying to do but I just always find it very strange that um how I always feel like I'm like the only person and I say I'm the only person not really to, to stroke my own ego but quite the opposite to say that I shouldn't be the only person especially when there are people who have channels that are much more popular than mine who are growing their mind and stronger than mine I mean I feel like when you if you can if you have this audience man you should do something with your power and I don't know help the people that watch your shit or something or you know or, or at least try to I don't know, do something with your ability. So that's what I'm going to do here today. I want to talk about something very important because I've been listening to a couple of incels and um, they they have a really good point here. And I've seen this a little bit in some of the videos I've watched recently about um, confidence and being yourself. These are two, I'm going to start off by talking about confidence and I'm going to talk about being yourself because a lot of the time incels, they hate when people tell them you gotta have confidence, man. You gotta be confident. Girls like confidence, man. You wanna know something? They're not wrong. They're, they're, to, to tell someone who is having a tough time talking to women that you have to be confident in order to gain their attention and gain their favor is not incorrect at all. Women do indeed like confidence. Uh, why? Why do women like confidence, you might ask? Well, it is because uh, if the, her mind is working correctly, or if her instincts are, are pointing correctly. The reason why women like confidence is because it denotes usually a strong man. And women are attracted to strong men because they believe that these strong men can protect their children. Now, if they ever encounter a woman that does not focus on trying to have children at some point in her life, if you encounter a woman who is very selfish and she still has this desire to find a strong man, you should not engage with that woman. And the reason why you should not engage with that woman, while this is going off the scope of this video, it is important. The reason why you should not engage with this woman is because she's going to use you more as a tool than care about you as an individual. This is very important. A lot of incels don't ever get this far in relationships, so they don't know this. But I'm going to tell you this right now. You have to be very careful of women objectifying you as a man. We talk a lot about gold diggers, man, because they're a real thing, but it's not just gold digging. You know, women will use men as a way to emotionally gain validation from them rather than having healthy partners and stable relationships to have children, have families, and actually be a coherent unit. Um, I'm going to jump back to that point later. But I want to stay on something that's very important. Again, the point of the instinct of women trying to find confident, strong men is because they want people who will protect their children. Because women, they love their children. But in the nature of being a woman, you know, one, being very weak, physically, usually, and being incapacitated for about seven months when you start showing all the way to, you know, birth when you're pregnant, they can't really do that whole sustain themselves, take care of themselves. And so instinctually, that's what the brains are looking for. So you have to understand that. And most incels already know this. So I mean, I'm just, it's just for the people who don't, just, you know, so we're all on the same page here. That's why you have to show confidence. Now, the reason why telling someone to just be confident is absurd is because of what the nature of confidence is. And this is what's very important here. The nature of confidence is competence. Competence being having the ability or having the knowledge that you can do something well. That's what competence is. Or having, yes, having the ability to do something well is competence. Or being able to do something to some degree. Confidence comes, competence is that knowledge of competence. Confidence comes from competence. That's one of my favorite sayings. Competent, I'm sorry, confidence comes from confidence. The three C's. Confidence comes from competence. It kind of sounds a little bit like a like a like a tongue twister. 
uh, confidence comes from competence. Asking someone to just be confident does not address what the nature of confidence is. And that is having the knowledge that you can do something well. The truth of the matter is, everyone who is who has said this to an incel is just on some other shit. It's because you're not actually helping these people get from point A to point B. You're telling them, go to Z. But it's like, I don't know where Z is, man. What, I don't, what the fuck, man? So let's go from A, let's go to B, let's go to C. So, excuse me, in order to gain confidence, the confidence to approach women, pickup artists do this by playing a numbers game, by reaffirming their own value in relation to the woman. A lot of incels do this as well. This is a, they do, a lot of people do this instinctually. They don't really try. Um, this is where a lot of the vitriolic comments from incels people make videos about come from. And where they're trying to reassess their value so they don't feel bad in relation to not getting the woman that they want to be. They're not getting women, women at all. This is where you see all of the mean, nasty comments about a lack of women being virgins and all of that. It's trying to reassess your value relative to hers. Pickup artists do this all the time with neggings or by mentally reaffirming to themselves that the woman needs him more than he needs her. Um... This is a one way you can garner more of a faux pas level of confidence that is very shaky and not really grounded, or you can gain confidence from cultivating a particular skill. Now, one thing that's very important, which would be a really good transition, actually, would be talking about um, what this skill would be in relation to trying to date women. It's not. Here's the thing, and, and this is very important. Your confidence should not be rooted in trying to attract women. It should be rooted in self-affirming who you are as a person. The idea of trying to do something to get to women is something that should be abandoned wholesale. And the reason why it should be abandoned is because the woman should not be the end. The family should be the end. Which means you need skills to create a family and have a family and, and make it functional. The woman is a means to the end, to getting your children, and you need her as a partner to help you function and go through life. That's what you have to think about. So if you only build confidence just to get this woman and you don't have any skills that you need for you know, the rest of your life, then, then you've got nothing. Then you've wasted everyone's time and you should be single. You should be. You just should. So the thing about the skills you have to obtain, and there are multiple skills you can gain through life. There's skills in public speaking, even skills in video games, in sports, in your job, anything really. Because uh, skills in interpersonal relationships, talking, convincing people, selling people things, you know, all of that. You really have to, and you can do anything. I mean, uh, it, it really, there really isn't anything textbook that you need. You just need to have skills that are going to help you throughout the course of your life that you can cultivate. You can be drawing anything. Now, the reason why you have these skills is one, just so you can you know go through life as a regular person that you just need you know to be. But two, so you know you have value, and that's one of the most important things, my brother. My brother, you must know in your heart that you matter and that you mean something. Because if you don't have that essence, you don't have that self-love, that grounded nature within you. You're going to be, one, persuaded to do a lot of stupid shit a lot. You're going to be sad and desperate a lot of the time. You're going to be miserable and angry with the world around you because you feel like you're not getting what you should be getting. It's a lot of problems that stem from not having that those roots in the ground. That is, I matter. I have skills. I have confidence. I mean something. And if I don't mean something to someone else, I mean something to me. You must have that. You must have that. I mean something to me. You do not have that I mean something to me, then you will just be all over the place and you will be sad and lonely and you do not have nothing. You must start there. <laughs> you have to start there because if you, if you and, the, and the reason why you have to start there with, with grounding yourself and liking yourself and having confidence in yourself from a skill you've cultivated or having something that matters to you or matters to the world is so that when you fail, which you will fail, 
And, and you'll fail not because there's something wrong with you. You will fail because there's something wrong with women. People don't want to talk about it, but there is. There is. I talk about it all the time. There is. There are lots of problems with women. And so even when you become confident, you have to understand that that is not the end of the battle, but the beginning. Because, yes, women in our contemporary American society, they are fucked. <laughs> they are really fucked. And they have a lot of work they need to do, too. Bucko. They need to clean their rooms, too. Okay. No, seriously, they, they really do. So that's only level one. Well, here's level two. Level two, a lot of incels are giving this advice. Just be yourself, man. Just be yourself and the person you want will come to you. You know, maybe that might happen. But here's the thing. Point one, if yourself is a shitty person, you probably really shouldn't be yourself. You, you should probably focus on trying to be somebody else. <laughs> you, you really should be. And if yourself... Is someone that is just kind of like really repugnant in a meaningful way, like that's really needy. Again, you you gotta you probably should not be yourself. And here's another thing that's very important. I am a firm believer that there's no such things as leagues, but I do believe there's a such thing as a, a reasonable target. What I mean by that is, I don't believe that any one human is out of the league of another. I don't believe in that bullshit for a second. That there's some girl who's just too attractive for you. Or that people need to start trying to date people that are of their equal level. Because physical attractiveness is fucking subjective. It's stupid. I find mixed women to be incredibly fucking beautiful. I find them to be angels on this earth. But some white guy could probably be like you. They think they're fucking mongrels and they're ugly. So, I mean... <sighs> We're not going to see eye to eye on that. It's it's subjective. It's how I feel. It's what I like personally. And that girl, they, and, and if this woman is too arrogant in the way she looks, and you think she's a five, and she thinks she's a nine, well, you're, you're not going to link up. And if you're telling me I should look for women that hate themselves and have low self-esteem, and I should take advantage of that, well, there's lots of problems there that I will discuss at another time, because there's problems there, brother. I, yeah. I know from first-hand experience. The point is, I don't think there's anyone that is too attractive for you. I don't think that, I think it's stupid. Especially for women, especially as a woman. When you really think about a beautiful woman, you, you really just think about a woman you just want to have sex with a lot. That's, that's really all being attractive means. You have an easier time getting people to try to have sex with you. But it, it adds nothing and it does nothing, okay? People like looking at you. People like trying to give you shit. So you get lots of advantages for being attractive. But as far as the actual capital goes to doing anything tangible, it fucking doesn't. It, it just makes people want to give you shit. And you have to understand that, especially as a woman, being attractive, it, it just means that people are just going to try to fuck you a lot. That's it. And as a man, you have to understand that if you're trying to go for really attractive women, you got to deal with other guys trying to have sex with them. Mm, probably don't want to deal with that. So as far as leagues going, this is why I don't feel that there's any, that, that attractiveness is, is a load of bullshit as far as trying to determine whether or not someone is too much for you. But there is a such thing as a good target. And what I mean by that is, let's talk about Stacy. If Stacy is a really popular, shallow girl, she's not a good fucking target to try to demonstrate your value to. Because Stacy's arrogance is going to put her on a level that believes that you are beneath her. Now, the truth of the matter is, Stacy probably isn't really worth dating if she's that shallow of a person. And as a man, you have to get to this point, my friend. You have to get to a point where you understand that women are people and some of them ain't shit. And it is okay to say that some of them ain't shit. Stacy probably ain't shit. A lot of really beautiful women on Instagram ain't shit. They're just not. They just look nice. And you got to get to a point where you're okay with just acknowledging that a woman is beautiful and that all she's good for is just having sex and it sucks to say that but I don't know they can they can go earn a skill or some shit gain a skill and do something so mean as it is they can do something about it as a man you have to get to this point that um there's a, there are good targets and there are bad targets no one is too attractive for you but you have to understand that being yourself being who you are is going to attract a certain type of person if you're a fun likable person and likable is subjective, but just, you know, just think about what likable means to you. If you're a fun, likable person, you're going to attract a certain type of person. If you're very funny and comedic, you're, you're going to have a really easy time getting women to, you know, be entertained by you. But even in that, you have to know 
what are the qualities you actually want to cultivate in a wife and in a mother to your children and you have to understand that you yourself you have a right to be picky because we're talking about life we're talking about making people okay now the reason why I'm talking about all this is because people tell you to be yourself to attract whatever person to come along but you need to be able to be enough of yourself or change yourself to where you're attracting a quality woman into your life and you are rejecting women that are not worth your time and there's and it might hurt to, to like I know here's the thing you gotta start thinking about this shit as a form of mutual rejection okay because if a shallow woman is gonna reject you because you're not attractive enough for her you don't need to be with her you should not get your feelings hurt especially if you cultivate a skill if you have confidence and you have value and you like yourself and you like who you are that woman is the one that's fucking up not you if she thinks that you're too ugly or you're too fat she's fucked up she missed out on on the greatness that you are it's not about being arrogant by the way it's not about thinking too highly of yourself it's about liking yourself knowing who you are being yourself and who you are and understanding your own personal value so that way you don't get hurt when you get rejected this is the best way to avoid getting hurt from being rejected is understanding that if it if she is that shallow then she doesn't need you nigga and you don't need her and that it's okay. It's okay to get rejected because you're rejecting her too. You don't need her in your life. And you get all of this again from confidence. And get your confidence from competence by cultivating a skill. Whatever that skill is or understanding your value and your role in society. I'm going to end the video off here. It was a bit all over the place, but I'm going to summarize and put it in a really tight, compact form, okay? If you're an incel, you're right to be upset with the bullshit advice of just be confident because that is that is the end result of what should come from a mastery of something, I mean, whether it be martial arts, whether it be writing, public speaking, or whatever. Confidence comes from competence. You have to start with gaining personal value to yourself. and You have to start by liking yourself. And that is where your confidence will come from. And that is where your value will come from. And that is where you know you are worth it. And when you have these skills and you have these abilities, you know now that you are worth it to a woman who might be the mother to your children. Just be yourself is some more stupid advice. Because if yourself is a terrible person, you shouldn't be yourself. And it's very important to understand who yourself is because that's the person that, that you're going to attract to you as well. And it's very important to know that one, it's okay to be rejected. And two, it's very important to know your target and to know what you should be looking for in a woman. Because there's no such thing as leagues, as I personally feel. But there's a, such a good thing as a good target and a bad target. So just being yourself is what's going to attract the woman that you should, you know, that you need, you know, again, to be a good wife and, and be a good mother to you later. So hopefully you get something out of this video. Um, if you want, you can chat me up here on Twitter. I'm going to try my best to help you guys out with the knowledge I possess. Uh, next videos, I'll probably tell stories from a life so you guys know how I can't got to this level. And uh, we'll just, you know, shoot videos off like this whenever I get a chance to record it for you incels. Because I do think that um, instead of mocking you guys, there should be people actually trying to help you out. And that is what I'm going to do. So with that being said, man, I certainly hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, man, go ahead and click the like button. And shoot, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Comment in the comment box below. And as always, you guys have yourselves a great day. I'll see you cool cats soon. Adios.